In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called Power and Product Rules with Positive Exponents. We're asked to simplify this expression, and I can see that we have multiplication indicated by the two parentheses being next to each other, but I also have this exterior exponent. So to simplify this expression, I need to first take care of that expression that's outside the parentheses. The first portion here I can bring down but then the second portion, inside the parentheses, since everything is being raised to the third power, I have the number negative 3 raised to the third power. So that's negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3, which would be a negative 27. And then this x is being raised to the third power. And when we have a variable raised to a power, the x can be considered just an x to the 1. We have 1x in there. And when we have x to the 1 raised to the third power, we know that in this situation we multiply those two powers. So 1 times 3 would be 3. This would be x to the third. Then the y to the third is also raised to the third power. So that would be y to the third raised to the third. Here we again multiply our exponents. 3 times 3 would be 9, so this would be y to the ninth power. And then our z is also to the power of 1, so it's raised to the third power on the outside. And when our power inside and outside, they are multiplied, so z to the third. So far we have simplified by raising everything in the second parentheses to the third power. And now since we have multiplication, we can look at what portions can be multiplied and simplified. So for example, they both have numerical parts, sort of coefficients. We have a negative 1 in the first and a negative 27 in the second. When we multiply those, we would have a positive 27. Then we have these common x's. On the left, there is an x to the third. On the right, there is an x to the third. And when we're multiplying variables with exponents, since the variables are the same, we can combine by adding the exponents. So x to the sixth moving to the y's. We again, we're multiplying common variables, this time raised to different exponents, y4 times y9. We simplify by keeping the variable and adding the exponents. So y13, and then for the z's, we have z2 times z3, which again we can write as a common variable z, adding the exponents. 2 plus 3 is 5, so z5. And at this point we've simplified by combining all of the terms that we can.